Shredder, the mighty uh, guy who makes people shredded on YouTube channel these days, known as Tenix, and has a lot of brand content right now. Makes a lot of collaborations with Brandon William with this, with this, with this, etc. Anyways, guys, my name is Taz Reform, and I react to Calisthenics videos. We have Chris Heria, the Calisthenics legend, that almost won a competition with this muscle. Yeah. Anyways, let's get it. It's 2008, and Hannibal for King uploads this video to YouTube that starts up the whole Calisthenics world. Okay. Just three years later, in 2011, one guy starts training too. This man has later on inspired and motivated many people to start working out. He's a great businessman and if not, the most famous Kaistanks YouTuber now. I don't even need to show you a picture of him because all it takes you to know who I'm talking about. Of course. Alright. California? Yeah. Chris Herrera California. is born on December 21st, 1991 in Miami, Florida. Oh, it's Miami. Chris and his brother Stefan come from very interesting family, where father is Cuban and mother Chinese. Okay. With the weather in Miami being always nice and hot, Chris spends his time with his friends outside, listening to music and basically being active. <laughs> You're gonna start from the him to martial arts which didn't just consist of different kicks or punches because what they used for conditioning their bodies were calisthenics exercises. Okay. The most often strengthened thing was core because yeah. their teachers told them that all strength comes from, from the core. Yeah. With that said, Chris the and other children did crazy abs drills to really make their core rock solid, which led to Chris having six pack already at the age <laughs> of seven. <laughs> That's crazy. And one more thing that was embedded into Chris was discipline. Fast okay. forward, Chris graduates from St. Brandon High School and at the age of 20, he sees a YouTube video where Guy performs a muscle up, which Chris finds really impressive uh -huh. and because he can do it, he is really motivated to achieve this skill. Luckily, Chris had a constant oh, squad next to his home where he began with all the knowledge and conditioning from martial arts, his Kaisnex journey, not knowing that a few years later he will be one of the most known Kaisnex athletes Seven in the million, world. Bro. First year outside of building basic strength, he advances to more difficult skills, for example like L-sit pull-up. He performed this variation by sitting in the sand on the beach and with a little bit of overgrip he tried to pull as high as possible, which resulted in him unlocking the muscle up pretty easily. One of the thing in which Chris is different is that he used weight vest right from the start of his journey. Yeah. It was because he was inspired by seeing Dragon Ball Z <laughs> and those types of cartoons where they did bodyweight exercises with the vest and it's, pushed it's, themselves it's to the anime, not cartoon. So this was the real motivation for Chris to train the same way. Okay. After unlocking Basics. the muscle up, he managed to learn bent arm planche, back lever 2 and even the front lever. Okay. To really become comfortable with the back lever, he did flutter kicks while holding it, which result in stronger core mm. and of course easier hold. In 2012, Chris joined a famous group called Bar Stars and being sponsored by them, he went to his first ever Kaisnes competition located in Riga, Latvia. First competition and already the world championship. Yeah, Even though Chris wasn't the strongest out of all, plenty, not pulling bro. any crazy skills it's like crazy. frontal pull ups or planche, he was really good in making Muscle. show, as you can hear from the crowd's reaction. Okay. He also managed before coming back to Miami, squeezing two master classes in Latvia, pull up jam in New York, where he met the legend Hannibal for King and the fit. Of course, everyone player. met him. <laughs> I mean, I everyone, everyone, all this everyone was knows him. Too, but it felt right, he said. Chris being a busy man, he trains his clients, then in between each one he does his training, he meets new people with the same passion or posts tutorials on certain skills to Bar Stars channel. Right. Where they gather up a good getting busy. of views for that time, which Chris notices and starts his own YouTube channel called The Miami Trainer with Miami Bar Stars motivational video. His progressions are crazy, upload. bro. <laughs> Later on, he created his personal channel too. 
Another competition for him was oh, Germany's World Cup in the the second friend. and qualified for the World Cup Super Finals in, in Moscow, Moscow at the end of 2013. Of course, he and the members from Barstars meanwhile organized many workshops across the Europe. They stopped for example in Austria, Switzerland and Finland. And as I said previously, Chris is a very busy man, so right after yeah. these workshops, he went straight for another event. Whoa. World Championship in Riga, where he represented USA for the second time and Chris being a real showman, he didn't disappoint. I'm sure he didn't even do warm-up bro, bro just went for it. Even though he probably didn't have any intention to win these competitions, they were a good tool to become more famous and Chris being a good businessman, he took every opportunity he could. Okay. One of those opportunities he took that year was on the May 10th when he opened the first ever Calisthenics indoor gym in the world called yeah. Calisthenics Evolution. Chris is now 23 years old, so far he participated in many competitions, did many workshops, traveled through many countries, his clients were satisfied with his coaching and his life was basically heading a good way. His calisthenics strength was improving too, for example he managed to get closer to full yeah. punch, improved his dynamic game or front level. He also met in 2014 one of Osvaldo. his best friends, Osvaldo Lugones, who later on made videos with Chris. Okay. His first gym was replaced with brand new Cali Gym called Calisthenics Academy, followed by starting mm. his company called Fenex. You got the plants, bro, with clean form. At that time, it was just a website which offered Calisthenics programs, tutorials, fresh daily workouts, and a lot more. With the Thenex success, he later on in May of 2016 built even bigger and better gym, the Thenex Fitness Studio. Listen. Damn, that was crazy, bro. Degree. This is where Chris successfully skyrocketed in a matter of months, maybe they used, even weeks. They used to do challenges, the and that was crazy, bro. Like challenges top were insane. Top 5 exercises to master handstand, which many people were looking for. Same top 5 exercises, but for mastering famous muscle up, or for example, planche tutorial. Many famous names appeared in the Thenex videos, like Gabo Saturno, mentioned Osvaldo Lugones, Mike Rashid, or Maga Braga. With the quality of videos, the Fenex had no competition. They even launched their own workout app which many people helped to get in shape. Fenex apparel didn't miss or branded equipment. The most famous being their wrist wraps and later on Harry Pro Weight West. After two years of posting these videos, the Fenex channel had already over 2 million subscribers. Of course man, you used to do a lot of cardio videos, how to get shredded physique. People could still meet the legend himself at Tenex workshops Chris did again in Switzerland, Portugal, London, Toronto and for example in LA. With everything having its end, the Tenex fitness studio's destiny wasn't different. And Chris with his friends switched to a new one just for 7 months before settling down in the studio where Chris films his videos even today. These days, Chris is more active on his second personal yeah, channel he where he makes, uploads more YouTube stuff. He does different types of sports, man. He's just enjoying life right now. He's or just trying riding. a life challenge. But still, the vast majority is fitness related. And even the Fenex channel China is still that. after 10 years active. Chris even won the 2019 Fitness and Wellness Influencer Awards okay. in Monaco. Outside okay. of doing calisthenics and traveling, he enjoys skateboarding. Or, for example, in his young years, he played on electric guitar with the band. This passion for music made him even do a couple of songs and he even met with the famous Tim Hansen. He also became a father in 2011 yeah. when his son Zen Heria was born. Because Chris protects his privacy, we don't know who's Zen's yeah. mother. But what we know about her from a reddit post Chris wrote is that she wasn't really good person and made okay. from Chris life a real hell. 
Before Zen was born, Chris proposed to her and ended up with rejection which made Chris decided that it would be best to not get married but a few weeks later she gave him an ultimatum. Either you will propose to me right now or I will completely cut off, block all numbers and you will never see me or the child again, she said. Chris didn't change his decision so they broke up and after many calls trying to contact her, Chris thought that the best choice is to wait until the child is born and involve a lawyer in this. This wasn't the only obstacle in his life. After breaking up with Zen's mother, he started to hang out with a new girl. One night okay. around 2 am they were chilling together having a drink outside of one business, but suddenly one guy pushes Chris from the oh, back. Shit. Chris turns and gets punched in the face and quickly after that four guys try to jump on him. Damn, this has turned into a Chris movie being scene. skilled in martial arts, he hits a guy in front of him and full mounts him. In this moment bouncers from the business came and threw them out. The staff oh, took okay. Chris to their office, watched him and asked if he needed a medical attention. I'm fine, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just don't know who those people were, he said. So they let Chris went through back doors that led to long alley. It's almost 3 am and Chris tries to contact the girl who ran from the incident but suddenly the same attackers see Chris in the alley and oh run shit, bro. Him. They brought a few more friends as Chris in the like movie scene, set. bro. They were Just about getting attacked by random people. Chris who was standing against the wall so he can be fully circled. Chris from here tries to de-escalate the situation but with no effect and they again try to jump on him. Bro has adventure, has romance, has everything on his, on his background right One now. One guy receives a flesh wound which made those gangsters stop and run okay. away. It's a few months later and Chris is going to his real estate job but he is stopped by cops. They told him that one detective wants to talk to him. Chris asked if he is oh. detained. Did Officers they complain? No. So Chris got into the car which was a big mistake. Oh. He later on finds out that they illegally picked him up with no evidence and fake story from one of those gangsters that was unexpectedly dating Zen's mother. With all Did the they witnesses frame it? saw the incident. The fake story didn't hold up in court and Chris was left only with the bond that he had to pay. The mother's boyfriend did all he could to really make sure that Chris will never bother them again. So after some time Chris found himself standing again in court with his case put back on. This way Chris for two years lived in fear that he can lose everything if he would lose one trial. Throughout these two years he didn't stop and still competed in calisthenics Hell competitions yeah, or making workshops. We're going for the bag, we're going for the bag, yeah. that It made Chris enjoy every second he had for workout or of course for his son. Also this horrible thing ended up well too when the judge made Chris finally innocent. Okay. Chris sees now Zen often. I mean they picked him up illegally man, you can't just pick him up illegally. Videos, where they were of course you gotta free my boy. Even with all this, Chris worked really hard to make his dream come true, which he successfully accomplished. He was and still is an inspiration for many people to start working out and change their body. Okay. And this was the story how Chris from almost losing everything and ended up in prison became by hard work one of the most famous and successful calisthenics athletes in the world. That was an insane story man. Bro had so many things going on throughout his life and still managed to pass out and go what he loved, going to battles and he got what he wanted, start a YouTube channel, post everyday videos on how to get shredded and everything, you know, helping people, clients and everything. That's of course that was a trauma uh, situation for him with his, you know, loved ones and he had to go to the jail and everything illegally but then after that everything got sought out and he was free and he carried on with the battles and everything and now he's just you know he's just above no one can reach him right now you can't pick him illegal anymore <laughs> and that was an insane story and it was also scary i'm sure that moment like you know just random people come at you you beat them up and then they just follow you everywhere they beat you up in just anywhere and then cops come suddenly and pick you up bro that's insane bro like imagine having that and you can still train for calisthenics and i see many people say that i don't have time to do this i don't have time to this man yo you gotta bring time if you want to improve in calisthenics okay 
and this was a great you know like a story background before behalf him of course nowadays you know it's very easy to you know manage time then back in time back in time you know you had so many problems people and this and this is right now you have school you have colleges you have work you have part time jobs you have so many things you can earn and work at the same time and you have so many platforms where you can post videos day by day and earn your living through youtube instagram twitter so it's yeah it's insane right now bro but then back in the days bro anyways i'll see you guys in the next video until then stay consistency and yeah subscribe if you want leave a like i feel good and cuz i post every day bye